All right, how's it going, everybody? This is 2019 Topps Allen & Ginter Baseball. This is a 12-box case break. This is picker team number one. Sold out on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Good afternoon to everyone joining us in the live stream. Thanks for joining early. Whoops. There we go. So we got the sealed case right here. Pretty sure this is Alan McGinter. Hopefully it is. Before I slice it open. What's up, Mr. Mike's daddy? What's up, Kale? How's it going? Nice. So 2019 Ginter. The other release today is Optic Baseball Panini Donner's Optic. Which the autographs checklist in that is really strong. And that optic. So I'm looking forward to that. And then we have Argonaut Baseball from Gold Rush, which kind of like the Premier Players Football, even a little more high end than that. So pretty expensive. I think it's 145 for a two random team break. So comes out to what about seventy dollars on each team. But we're also giving away a free spot, so you can read the details in there. Yeah, this is first look. Our first break of Ginter. I haven't watched any Ginter breaks, so this is my first look. So three hits per box, usually like six to seven autos per case, I feel like, but maybe it's different this year. And then if the person who, if we do hit a rip card and the person wants us to rip it, feel free to let me know in the chat if, if you're that person when we get to that point. Um, I think only once or twice we've had people rip the cards. I think one time it was a metal card and then maybe a, a one on one mini or something. One of the wood minis. But most people want them, want them sent out. But some people can't wait, so. Yeah, I don't know what the case I mean, usually the case is like a rip card, right? Rip card or one of the double rip cards. I think they have rip card box toppers this year, which is cool. Maybe one of those booklets like that Pedro Martinez, David Ortiz that we used as the photo. So all the non-baseball cards and non-sport cards go to Michael K. who bought that spot. Just letting everyone know that. Um, might have another case of this, so if you want a chance at the non-sport spot, you might have to wait until all three are sold out. I actually don't know if we have a fourth, but we'll see, I guess. All right, so just open all the packs. Let's put these there. And all the base commons do not ship, but all the rookies ship, the inserts, and then the cards above 350 are short printed. So be sure to send all those. It's 350 to 400, I think, on the back of the card. I'm not sure how rare they are, so we'll see. But yeah, I mean, maybe a red ink autograph is, is the case hit. But yeah, it's usually one of those. Ooh, hot boxes, yeah. All right, good luck. Yeah, I like the booklets a lot in Ginter. So here we go, box number one. I don't know if you can see that, right? All right, and then for the minis, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put them to the side and then at the end of the box, we'll go through each mini, see if there's any hand-numbered minis on the back of the card. Those are usually tricky. What's that, a Top Gun insert? No. Um, Hawker Harrier insert right there. It's a little dark, isn't it? I'm sure, brighten this up a little bit. It's 
a little better, right? So then you got the, the greatest to ever hold a bat and ball, into Greats in there as well. Travis Pastrana. You got some more minis. Okay. That's better? Okay, cool. We'll have to tell Joe to, to keep it like that. There's another card. The first hit is D. Gordon. Relic for the Mariners. Right there, Seattle. That's going out to Kale. The first hit. There you go. Shoot. You got one of those Black Border minis. Michael Brantley for the Astros. Yeah, a couple years ago it was Fish. Maybe last year. Daniel Murphy mini. Larry Doby, that's a cool card there, Ken Griffey Jr. Justin Bohr. Robin Hood's bow. Incredible equipment. There's the Red Sox team photo. Tasmanian languages, lost languages. There's a beagle, nice. Collectible canines, the beagle. One of my favorite. There's Cespedes Family BBQ. Out of tune on them. There's Javier Baez. And then we got our first frame mini. Frame mini relic that is Buster Posey for the Giants. That's going out to Joseph. Joseph with that one. Where's the pug card? They outlawed the pug card this year. It was a snub. It was like last four in, last four out for March Madness. It was part of the last four out. So we'll go through all the minis to see if they're numbered at the back. You have to sneeze. Oh, I hate that one. You have to sneeze, but it's not. It's pretty dusty in here. Okay, I think I'm good now. No sneeze. There's the heritage train chugging along. They should they should have a big express one. So we should have one more hit somewhere. The Borzoi? Wow. Yeah, the playing card's cool. There it is. It is a third relic of the box. That is Miguel Cabrera. Detroit Tigers, Daniel Patera. Yeah, no pugs. Damn. Got snubbed. All-star snub. Um, so three hits per box. It could be, the three hits could be all three relics, it could be autographs, or it could be rip cards, which I think count as hits. So you're not guaranteeing an autograph. It's usually, from what I see usually every year, it's usually like six or seven autographs per case, I feel like. See if these are any here. So some of these obviously are short printed more than the others. The A and G backs are more short printed, and then you have a bunch of other ones. But we'll just go through them here. All these will ship anyway. So if you got a mini, you'll you'll be getting it in the mail. I don't see any hand numbered ones here. So that's box one. Let's do the box topper, which these are always hard to open. Okay, 
never make them easy. Actually, not bad this year. It is Shohei Otani. Nice. Cabinet box loader. I think those are the hardest cards in the hobby to ship. Right? The box toppers? Yeah, they're a pain in the butt. They're a pain in the butt. But that's okay. But. Sure, hey, they're a nice card. Here. Yeah. Not that we don't pack other cards. Yeah, here. what are you say, trying to say? The Yankees. What are you, the Yankees cards you wouldn't? Ooh, we got a uh, H43 box loader card inside there. Or N43, sorry. N43. Alright, see you, Joe. Alright, so let's put these here. Yeah, Joe will be on about an hour or so. I think this break usually takes a little over an hour. I'm going kind of slow, so might take a little longer. Yeah, I think it's just um, like these are just kind of the replacement for the box topper. Obviously not as big. It's the size of a normal card. I think it's usually just like an insert. I can look on the cardboard connection here. I don't know how often they fall compared to the the box toppers though. Yeah, but he had to do it two years. Well, yeah, the best ability is availability. But yeah, Otani just played his 162 games. Yeah, like 36 home runs, 290 average, so pretty good first full season. But yeah, I mean, he's got to stay healthy. Hopefully he gets back on the pitching mound. I don't know if he ever will, to be honest. Yeah, 100 plus RBIs. I think his OPS was pretty good, so. Definitely pretty impressive, I mean. Definitely up there. I think probably the best Japanese player is about Ichiro, so he's got a long way to go, but hey, you never know. Alright, so there's Altuve. So those are the minis there. There's Tommy Lasorda. Oh, is that the egg that got like a million likes? It got over 30 million likes. Just a picture of an egg. That's kind of funny. Now it has a baseball card. Ooh, there's a Vlad Jr. Mini. Let's see if that's numbered at the end. This is a Chihuahua. Who's that guy? He's got nice hair. Ray Butcher. There's Ricky Henderson. William Tell's crossbow there. Luis Severino. Our first relic is Travis Pastrana. Nice. That's non-baseball. That's Michael K. It's our first relic of the box. Motocross competitor and stunt performer. I've seen his, like, setup. It's crazy. I think he has a bunch of YouTube videos. Ooh, 
Ooh, there's in bloom spurred snapdragon. I didn't see one of those in the last box. There's big poppy. There's Vladimir Guerrero Sr. Expos edition. So we're just sliding through the base here. Like I said, we'll ship all the short prints above 350. All the rookies, the inserts, all go. All the minis, of course, go. I know, that big poppy, it looks like he's lost some weight since that photo. Um, the egg is at 53 million likes. That's crazy. It probably has a TV show, a podcast, all that. There's Pied Piper's Pipe. There's Marcelo Zuna. And the second hit from this box is Boston. That's Xander Bogarts for Walter. Xander B. So, five relics so far. Hamels. There's the lookout below. I'm not even going to try to pronounce the name, but it's a waterfall. There's a the Mike Trout backwards mini. I thought those were OJ Simpson's gloves for a minute, but it's a uh, Rose of the Riveters work gloves. I was like, did they really put... OJ's gloves in there? If they had OJ glove relics, I bet those would sell for a lot. There's Ramon Loriano. So Rizzuto. There's a West Highland Terrier. Puig with the Reds. And our first autograph, it's for the Colorado Rockies. He's got a nice auto. That is Todd Helton, framed auto for Levi, the Rockies. With the nice kind of tropical frame they usually do. Nice. There you go, Todd Helton. It's our first autograph of the case. And you got a mini Trevor Story. Let's go through the mini. So you had the Mike Trout mini, which was backwards. Um, there's no guarantee in the autographs per case, but like I said earlier, it's usually like six or seven autographs. But maybe I'm wong on that. There's the Vlad Guerrero AMG back mini. That in bloom must be kind of short print, I'm guessing. So no numbered minis in that one either. Let's open the N43. The N43 is Bryce Harper. Philadelphia Phillies Bryce Harper. Not sure what kind of penny sleeve we could put this in, but we'll figure it out. But it's kind of different shape than a normal card as you can as you can see. So there's the N43, that's Bryce Harper. Yeah. For some reason this year, all of a sudden we started pulling OJ Simpsons. I think we had one, in, a few in Gold Rush, um, some in Leaf products. I don't think you'll ever see OJ in Panini products. Cause that'd probably be a bad PR for their, them, but I guess you never know. think Ginter either. <laughs> Alright, good luck. Yeah, never heard him so quiet. <laughs> well, it's hard to get excited about that hit, kinda. I mean, I'm sure it still sells decently, but yeah, it's always kinda weird. I think 
I think Joe pulled one a couple months ago. It was like a USC Heisman one, and it had like a few other USC players on it. And I was like, oh yeah, and then there's OJ Simpson. Damn, we're already at 20 minutes on this video. So yeah, these these breaks are probably like an hour and 20 minutes solo. Um, at least number two, I, I should be able to pack stack for Joe. I'll just pack stack right next to him here. Um, until we figure out a better pack, pack stack solution. I'd like to get just like a wireless camera I can break in the other office and then just carry them over. That'd be kind of cool. Yeah. Yeah, you can, it's hard to hard to segue from that. It's hard not to talk about the trial and then you have people who like argue about it when we pull him. This happened, that happened, then there's conspiracy theory, so yeah, it's kind of a a hard thing to break. That was like when we broke. There's this politics set that came out a few years ago, 2015, 2016. That was controversial in the chat. I don't think we'll ever do that again. That menu was on top here. Good luck. This is box three of 12. Yeah, it's mostly just the pack opening that takes a little bit. So, all right, we got Valdez. Like I said, we'll go through all the minis at the end of the, each box. Got a Corgi. Love those Corgis. Rowdy Talese. Ooh, we got a wood mini. I think these are 101, right? Yeah, 101 wood mini. That is for the Angels. That is Cody Allen. One of one. Nice. So that goes to the Los Angeles Angels, Eric Rittenhouse. Nice. Very nice. Usually these come from rip cards. I don't know if I've ever pulled one outside of a rip card. I don't know if we have the mini top loaders, but we'll see. Nice. Hand numbered 101, Cody Allen. Nice one, Eric. Well, that's a good, good start to this box. I don't know, to be honest, if that counts as a hit. I would guess not, but I guess maybe. Clemente. There's Thor's hammer. That's pretty cool. There's Michael Kopech. There's a relic. That's for the non sport non baseball spot. That's Lawrence Rocks, chemist and author. Chemist and author. Uh, what was it? Lawrence Rocks. So that's for Michael K. In that spot. Santa Slay. We got the three legged race right there. That's Dreams of Blue Ribbons. And yeah, let me know if, if anyone's a like a Ginter expert, which of those minis are short print. There's the boxer. I think that's Brian Anderson. Some most of these don't have that first name, so I usually sometimes guess. Troy Tulowitzki. Who's this guy? 
voice actor and dungeon master. Wow. Dungeon master, like drag, uh, what's it called? Dungeons and Dragons? How do you become a master? Ooh, rip card. It's 38 of 75. That's a rip card right there of Edgar Martinez for the Mariners. Nice. Seattle Mariners, that one's going out to Kale. Nice one, Kale. 38 out of 75. Nice. Congrats, Kale. Yeah, I mean, no peer pressure, but if you do want us to rip it, you can do that, but you can also decide on your own if you'd like. There's Max Muncy. There's Post Malone. There's Lost Languages right there. The Plains Apache language. There's another Edgar Martinez. So that, that rip card should count as a hit. Man, loaded box here. 101 Wood Mini and a rip card. There's the French Bulldog. Kind of looks like Joe's dog. There's the Mustang. Edwin Diaz. There's the third hit. Dylan Baton says for the Yankees. New York Yankees, that's Edward. Yeah. This is, yeah, if it, if, good question. It, if, yeah, if we rip it and it's someone else's, like, if it's a different team's card, it still goes to you. I guess I should, should have said that. But yeah, it's, it's totally yours. But, I mean, I don't know. It's up to you. Sometimes, I mean, they obviously they sell for more sealed. All right, so here are the mini cards. Let's see if any of these are numbered. I don't think there will be because we had that 101 wood mini already. So I don't think any of these will be numbered. This one's got a little nick on the back corner there. And that's it for that box. Um, the rip card is from Alan Ginter. It is a card inside of a card, Logan. So, basically, what this card is hiding is a mini, kind of, one of these, kind of, basically. So, these inside could be autographed, they could be one of one or they could just be not numbered, short print. So, it's kind of a gamble to rip it. Um, you don't know what's going to be inside, kind of like a mystery box. But yeah, it could be a red ink autograph. It could be uh, like a metal mini. It could be one of those one-on-one -on -one wood minis. And since it is yours, I'll be honest, I don't feel, I don't think it's a metal, so I don't know what that means. If that's good or bad. All right, here's the box loader, box topper. Some of these can be autographed too or rip cards. They're like oversized ones. But yeah, it's it's pretty cool. I think it started a while ago, but yeah, I mean, we've had customers over the past four or five years. They rip them and they like what the, it's inside. They don't rip them. All right, this one is Christian Yelich. Christian Yelich box topper. Nice. Next box. Yeah, like I said, I mean, there's no pressure to rip it, Kale. I know I might get some people in the chat, but it's up, totally up to you. If you want it shipped and you can rip it on your own, some people prefer that, but, or we could rip it now, whatever you want. 
And then if you do want to rip it, we'll probably do it at the end of the break. So we'll save that to the end. To kind of build up to suspense. And then we, we'll ship you the ripped card too. Sometimes the ripped cards still sell for a decent amount. But then there's dual rip cards, so there's like, <laughs> there's some crazy ones. They've gotten crazy the last few years. The dual rip cards are, um, this is just a single one, but some of them are, um, you rip it on the front, you rip it on the back, and there's too many cards inside instead of one. But if like sometimes we hit, I think last year or two years ago, we hit like a Babe Ruth Lou Gehrig dual rip card which that one I think should just be left sealed to sell it, just because of the players. It'll hard to pull a card inside of it that's worth more than what that card is. Um, Opulence is Friday. It releases Friday on that one. All right, so there's Eddie Murray. Not sure what that is on that corner. Garrett Cole. There's a frame relic of Von Rodriguez for the Rangers. Steven Surrey. Yeah, I don't think I put a date on that. I think I meant to add it to the description. It gets weird when I add it to the title because then people think that's the date it's guaranteed to break. So like if like the fourth case, let's say, of opulence doesn't break on the Friday, then some people sometimes get angry. So, so I stopped putting it in the title. But I think I, I, I meant to put it in the description. Shasta language. Ford. There's Otani. There's an Overland Train. There's a relic, Rafael Devers for the Boston Red Sox. That's Walter. Justin Smoke Mini, Bob Gibson, there's Glaber Day, Glaber Torres, 
But yeah, that comes out Friday. Optic Baseball is releasing today. So that's out today also. So you see that in the baseball category. We have a bunch of pick your teams on that. There's a Ronald Chapman two-color relic pinstripe for the Yankees. That's Edward. So we have Optic today. We have Argonaut Baseball from Gold Rush, which is like that premier player's football. Even a little more expensive than the football, actually. And then, of course, Ginter. Which, I think the second case is almost sold out. I'll probably help Joe pack stack that one. So, we get it um, a little quicker. But that won't be for probably about an hour and a half. If you're here for that. I didn't know he had that. It, he looks like a... He looks like a little Santa beard there. It's funny. He's got the hair and everything. There's Josh Donaldson, who was on MLB Network, showing off his sports card collection. It was like he had Baker Mayfield autographs from contenders. He had a bunch of stuff, which was pretty cool. All right, so there's the minis. Let's see if any of these are hand numbered on the back. All the minis do ship. Okay. Hiding the last drive pack. I think Jason has that on eBay. I'm not sure what date though. It might even be today. We had to save one. Couldn't let the website take all of them. Yeah, so it looks like the Gold Rush Argonaut is at seven left, but we took some out for the eight by 10 breaks. So if you buy a spot outright, you get entered to win a free bonus spot. Box topper Clayton Kershaw, right there. Um, you get entered to win a free bonus spot if you join that. We have Top Time and Icons, our last two boxes as random player breaks. I'm sure we'll get that done the next few days. We have Valiant Football, which I think might be our last box, two box break. Maybe our first one from a new case, maybe actually. We have the Bounty Hunter Mixer in the store. We have Elements Football, which comes out Friday. So we'll have that then. We also have Element Football Random Teams. So seven cases via Pick Your Teams. And then a couple half case random teams. And then maybe we'll even do like a random division full case or something. A high end break of that. Um, Opulence Basketball, we have those four cases. We're trying to see if we can get any more of that. So we'll see. But we're guaranteed those four. And yeah, we're on Fanatics 17, so we're about halfway through. Yeah, 32 jerseys should be left, and then we'll do the Hitless promo. We still haven't hit. I mean, I can't say all the names, obviously, because that would be kind of unfair to the people who aren't watching right now. But we haven't hit the Mahomes. I know that, right? Unless Joe hit it yesterday. I don't think we've hit the Luka Doncic. So those are two big names still hiding. Aaron Rodgers, we haven't hit. I didn't see Aaron Rodgers. Joel Embiid, did we hit the Embiid? I don't think so, right? Um, the 8x10s should be on the site. Unless I didn't upload them. Oh, here are the 8x10s right here. They're in the, the baseball section right now. Um, no Embiid. We didn't hit the Embiid then. So Rodgers, Mahomes, Doncic, Embiid, John Tavares, who's a great hockey player. So there's still some good ones. Is 
still some good ones still to go. That's crazy. I feel like you've hit a lot and then maybe Logan has been hitting a lot of jerseys and a few other people. I mean, it helps when you have a spot in each one, but yeah, that's crazy. What's up, Patrick Goodwin? How's it going? What's up, Colin? How's it going, guys? Um, no, I don't really collect WWE too much. We don't do a ton of that yet. Alright, here we go. There's the Bird of Paradise. This, this corner is also a little bad. So some of the minis, sometimes the corners are warped. Just letting it go now. Yeah, it should be on the homepage, Logan. I see it on the homepage right now. It's at the it's at the very last one in the baseball section. So the first category. There's Vlad Guerrero for the Expos. Goes to the Nationals. Jack with the Nats. Vladimir Guerrero. Relic Brandon Belt for the Giants. San Francisco Giants, that is Joseph. There's Kikuchi. One more hit in this box. Dansby Swanson. Get that package rerouted. Did you call? I sent you the tracking yesterday. We didn't get it today. So we should call again. There's Corbin Burns for the Brewers. We didn't get the package, the tracking I sent yesterday that was going to the old address. We didn't get it today. So There's Corbin Burns for the Brewers. That's Eric. All right, so Corbin Burns for the Brewers. There's the English Springer Spaniel. Oh, maybe it's different on the phone then. There's the Shih Tzu and base. 
But if you click view all in the baseball, it might be because there's so many <laughs> breaks in the baseball. But if you click on the view all, if you click on the Cody Ballinger card, There's Justin Verlander and 43. Um, we don't usually buy like that. All right, so Ginter in the store. Yeah, this, this is way longer than I thought. It's actually probably like a two hour break solo. So I'll try to pack sack as much as I can for Joe so we can do some optic tonight. Looks like this might be a hot box. That's cool. That's cool. How rare are these? All these will ship. I didn't touch them. Yeah, that. How's it look? Good. It's a long break. You need a pack stack? <laughs> There's just nowhere to pack stack. I'll get rid of those things there. Yeah. We don't have a third camera set up right now. I have to plug it in. I have to find it somewhere here. It's right on that table right there. With the USB extender, it was on that table that was right there. It's one of those Logitechs and it's a really long cord. Might be in that big cord box right there. Saw a camera right on here, yeah. No, it was on the table, it wasn't there. Alright, so this is looks like a gold bordered hot box. I don't know how rare these are. Does anybody have any insight? I couldn't find it on the pack odds. So all these will ship because they have this nice gold border to them. Looks like a, looks like a piece of art. Here it is. Here. Okay, I'll plug it in after this. I don't want to mess it up. Hot box. There's the Rhodesian Ridgeback.
There's Abdubo Herrera for the Phillies. Philadelphia Phillies at Daniel. Yeah, I think like eBay is your best bet for for that. Um, don't really do buying, selling, and trading in the chat. So we're focused on mainly our case breaks, selling our case breaks, ripping packs. Sometimes we do WWE breaks though. I think we did some last year. I'm sure they're on our YouTube page somewhere. There's a relic John Smoltz for the Braves. Atlanta Braves, that's Robert. There's Yelich. There's the Maltese. There's no more Mazzara for the Rangers. Steven with the Rangers. That's for that box. Yeah, I just put the I put the Vlad Jr. to the side there. Nice, Logan. Happy birthday. Yeah, good luck. Let's see if we get some birthday mojo in the house. First box topper, sorry, not the first, the sixth box topper, Jose Altuve, Astros. Yeah, the gold border was a hot box, yeah. So all those cards will ship. So any gold border card, if it's a veteran, if it's a rookie insert, all those will go in the mail. But yeah, that was a hot box there. I just didn't know how rare they were. Maybe they're one per case? I don't know. Need a bigger trash bag. Need just like a like a pit that we just throw all this stuff in.
So Optic Baseball, Optic Baseball is 17 left. If you want your teams outright, I would suggest buying them because once I'm done with this break, I'll probably be putting those in a some sort of team random. So if you want them now, I'd go get them. Pretty loaded checklist on that. A lot of great prospects, great rookies on there. And all the teams, I mean, $12.99, $19.99. $29.99. I think the most expensive team right now is the Braves. And then the Angels, Mariners. Angels don't have any Trout autos, but you could get some parallels and whatnot. You could pull a 101 Mike Trout, maybe. Um, the Giants are up there. The A's. About a $20, $30 team. So, yeah, I'll probably be putting those in a team random once I'm done here. So, if you wanted a team... Fair warning. The D-backs are only $12.99. Get some parallels. Inserts. There's a lot of hot boxes in that. There's Each case will contain two autograph hot boxes for the optic. And each of those will contain five autographs per box. And then two prism hot boxes, which will contain 20 numbered cards. So we're guaranteed four hot boxes of the 12 box case. There's a mini time with a sorta. Ooh, there's another rip card. This one's 14 to 75. That is Chris Sale. Boston Red Sox, that is Walter. Nice. Walter with that one, 14 out of 75. So another rip card. Wow. I, I expected only the one. So that's nice. And once the break's over, we'll be putting the breaks away. So if anybody wanted to do the rip cards, you'll have to let me know during the break or else we'll already have it starting to pack up and get mailed out. There's weight bugs. Go through those mini S at the end there. Oh, Becca says two per case? Hmm. I guess that's right then. I always thought it was just one from the last couple of years, but maybe I didn't open enough last year. I'm thinking like 2017, 2016. The Relic Dee Dee, another Yankee. I think that's the third Relic. That's Edward with the Yankees. Retriever. Nice. There's Sammy Sosa. Paul DeJong. Jose Barrios. There's Goldie for the card uh yeah, Cardinals. There's Pete Alonzo, <clears throat> black bordered rookie mini. That's the side there. And there's another Rocks. Burton Rocks. Burton Rocks relic. That's for Michael K with a non baseball spot. There you go. So, yeah, if you're not a Ginter fan, definitely suggest. Getting into the optic, it's a lot different, obviously, than the Ginter. The Ginter, some people love it, some people hate it. But the optic, hard not to like. You got autographs, um, 
veteran autographs, prospect autographs. I know uh, Wander Franco's in there for the Rays. Jordan Alvarez, who I guess is not a prospect anymore. All right, so let's go through here and see. Ooh, we got a hand-numbered mini Billy Hamilton, 9 of 25. else I, I don't think so but you never know yep that's it so that was that box I know solo it might be two hours we're at an hour right now probably like an hour and 40 minutes I think but yeah I'll have to help Joe pack stack the, the other three there's Angel Falls look out below bet people jump that Jump in the pool. Alright, next box. But I think I got the flow of it now. I'm gonna need a new trash bag. Yeah, I'm sure I will do at least two of these tonight. Maybe a third. Maybe a fourth. But I think with pack stacking, it should be like it, about a little over an hour. So I have it here. Yeah, so by the time Joe gets here, gets set up, it'll be probably a time for another one. So I'll probably let Joe rip a box or two while I post some spot randoms for that optic baseball to get that closer to single digits. And then uh, we'll get going with probably another Ginter because it's sold out already. So, Ginter number two sold out. That's coming up after this. It's like optic down to 16. And those optics probably are about an hour break also. So, get those. Ginter number three is at 10 left. Ginter number four is at 13 left. And these, I think, are probably our only four cases. Might have a fifth. I'm not sure if we'll post it as a figure team or not. We'll have to see. Probably shouldn't stack them this high. Edwin Diaz, Tom Seaver, yeah. 
Shirley Poppy. There's the Cespedes BBQ Mini, Koufax. The Great Dane. There's a Cody Bellinger Mini. There's a Relic Fallon. Jimmy Fallon? No. Brian Fallon. Brian Fallon. Musician. For the non sport spot, Michael K. There's a subway train. Catch it right in a minute. Scooter Janet, Jeanette. Harmon Killebrew. There's a relic. Carlton Fisk for the White Sox. Chicago White Sox. Eric with that one. With a nice relic. We should have a few more autographs in this case, I'm guessing. It's hiding somewhere. Boston Terrier. Wade Davis, Andrelton Simmons, there's a relic, Ben Zobras for the Cubs, there's Bill with the Cubs. Chipper Jones, Sean Reed Foley, Dreschel, and some inserts. Let's go through the minis. Any number? Any numbers? Some ANGs, of course. All these will ship. All the minis. Don't see any numbered ones for this one. Sorry, it's a little out of focus. Yeah, I mean, it's not for everyone. Some people really like it. There's some, I mean, cards sell really well. The base sets always sell pretty well on eBay. So there are some really diehard fans. But yeah, not everybody. Not for everybody. There's Aaron Judge. Nice. For the Yankees. Cabinet box loader. All right, four boxes to go. Four boxes. So... Autograph cards, relics, rip, printing plates, and book cards. I haven't seen a printing plate either. They usually frame them up, which is kind of cool too. But yeah, I'm, I'm definitely a big fan of the autographs. For sure. I like the framed autos. There's an N43. Um, there's been two rip cards so far. And I think three autos. Two autos. Just two autos so far, actually. Corbin Burns and Todd Helton. And then we also had a one on one wood mini.
So definitely should be at least a couple more autographs, I think. I know, I saw that card. That was awesome, Steve. That was pretty sweet. Yeah, the diamond icons are great. I like that a lot. Obviously expensive, but... Some pretty great cards in there. We've seen some nice, like, Hank Aaron's. Yeah, we had a couple. Um, whatchamacallits. Couple Hank Aaron's, couple Derek Jeter's already. A few Trouts. Yeah, we had a few Yankee sets. The Yankees hits have been three relics. There have been a Del Batonsis relic, a Didi Gregorius relic, and a Araldus Chapman. Uh, we donate the cards that we don't ship. Yeah, the, the rip cards I like a lot. Rip cards are always fun. The book cards, all that great stuff. Yeah, Diamond Icons, it's hard not to like. <laughs> but yeah. Other than the price, it's it is expensive, but it is you can see the cards, you can see why it's priced so high. Alright, good luck everybody. We got the black lab right there. Cool. There's a Christian Stewart mini. Jansen. There's a relic Yadier Molina for the St. Louis Cardinals. That's Clint Cardinals. That's kind of scary, to be honest. Felix Hernandez. There's Matt Olson. There's Bryce Harper mini. There's another Golden Retriever. There's a relic of Mercer, the Dungeons guy. Matthew Mercer, voice actor and dungeon master. That is, of course, for Michael K, who bought the non-baseball section of this break. Victoria Falls, Freddie Freeman, there's an autograph, it is Quinn XCII, musician, that's for the non-baseball, that's Michael K, 
So there's the third autograph. There's Ken Griffey. And the base. All right, so we got three boxes to go. We'll go through these minis, go through the N43. Uh, like I said, Joe will be doing this next one. I'll be helping pack stack. So it should go pretty a lot more quick while still showing off all the hits, of course, and all the great Ginter cards. Just the pack opening will be shave off some time. I think that's pretty much it. Optic Baseball, I'll post some team randoms for that once we finish this up. First one is Jose Altuve. N43. Those are those oddly shaped cards. I'm not sure how we'll do those. Maybe sandwich them some top loaders or something. Alright. Three boxes to go. Good luck. I'm wondering if I can catch that fly. All right, good luck everybody, three boxes to go. No randomizers to do yet. Maybe we'll hit a dual auto or something. Dual rip card. See if the twins hit. I don't think we've seen any twins yet. Never know. Did we get that Argonaut in just now? The gold rush? Yes. Yeah, so Argonaut we have now so we can break that as soon as it sells out no it's not sold out yet <laughs> getting ahead of getting ahead of ourselves here Yeah, it's going pretty good. We still haven't set up a lot of stuff. The only things we have set up really right now is the shipping, the breakers rooms. That's pretty much all we have going so far. So the retail side we haven't really gotten to yet. We just wanted to get the breaking set up so we didn't have any interruptions on that.
Andrew Benny Tendi. Benny Baseball. Boston. That's Walter. Nice. So we're just kind of getting the dust. The dust is just settle in here, but we'll have everything probably set up by August. First couple weeks of August, we'll be ready to roll on like a little grand opening and all that great stuff. All right, we have a relic. Who is she? Emily Jameson, minor league baseball general manager. Hmm. For what? Doesn't say what team. What team? Oh, that's all <laughs> she, she gets? Just, yeah, she's just, she's all of minor leagues. She's it's the general manager for every leagues? team. That's Michael Kay at that spot. There's the Maltese. And I can't believe the pug got snubbed. No pug. Like I said, it's under, like it's under, like the last four in, last four out. Companion set. Wow. Control F pug. No. I saw it. They were there. French Ooh. bulldog. Kind of, kind of similar. This wood. Cody Allen. Yeah. It's pretty sweet. One on one. Two ripped cards already. Whoa. Did we did did we rip? Kale was thinking about it, but I haven't heard him say anything okay. in a while. So, so I don't think I don't think we're debated. getting any rips. I don't want any peer pressure. I don't want to force anybody because then if it's something bad, we get blamed. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> it might be better if you guys just rip them, you guys and gals. Yeah. I always try to off unless the person is like adamant about it. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. You gotta rip it, bro. Right. It's Ooh, mine. look at this. Juan Soto auto for the Nationals. Nice. Framed autograph Juan Soto Jack with the Nationals. Nice hit, Jack. Mr. Soto, I think that's his first Ginter auto. I don't think he had one last year. Called up after. All right, so let's go through the minis, see if there's any numbered on the backs of all these. And then we'll do the box hopper. Then we have two boxes to go. So the A&G ones are sh more short printed. Those will all ship. All the minis will ship, but the A&G ones are sometimes more valuable. Then they have no numbered ones, all that great stuff. And that's KB, Chris Bryant, box topper. What's up, Don? How's it going? I haven't seen any. They've been all the same box toppers except for that waterfall one. I think they have rip card box toppers this year, which is kind of cool. Whoa, like the the huge size? Yeah. You can rip card the huge. I think so. Wow. <laughs> it's just a regular card inside, I guess. Yeah. Maybe I'm wrong on that. Maybe I Looks misread like it. That'd be cool though. It yeah, is. it'd be a good idea. But I think we already hit our two box or our two rip cards. Case two is sold out, so that'll be coming up next. I'll be helping Joe pack stack it so we can get it done in like an hour rather than an hour and a half. I'm stretching out my hands. Well, if you don't have to do the ripping, then you don't need to. So I'll shuffle the shuffle. The shuffle. Yeah, the shuffle. Gotta get ready for when you're not here. Yeah. So we'll do like a Donner's optic or something like that on the side. Oh, the optics are. We got hot boxes in the optic. Those are. Easy. The Ginter packs are just tough to open. They're they're very strenuous. They ma they make you work for the big hits. Yeah. Um. There's just a lot of moving parts in Ginter, but like I said, 
Some people love Ginter, some people don't like it, so. I do like all the, the do we, do we, interesting what, cards. What are the, uh, I saw the airplane cards. We have fish cards, right? Yeah, we hit a Charlie XCXI, the musician. The musician? Oh. Yeah, I hit his autograph. Her? Her. No, his. Okay. It's a guy. I hit a, did, did, I hit a uh, voice actor, Dungeon Master Relic. A Dungeon Master. I hit a... Dungeons and Dragons Dungeon Master? I, it just says Dungeon Master. D&D? I hit a Chemist Relic. There's Post Malone autographs in there. I saw the Post Malone autographs. There is... Oh, Michael Blunt says Emily Jensen, AAA, Reno Aces. So who's that? The, who's the big club for the Reno Aces? Let me guess. So Vegas is Mets. I'm going to guess Reno is, by my judging, is Seattle? No. They're probably Tacoma or something. Yeah, I think Tacoma is this Um, Reno no. is San Francisco? Uh, Arizona, Grego Arizona. says. Arizona. Couldn't they have put Arizonas in... Arizona? Like Albuquerque? Yeah. Or New Mexico? Does New Mexico have a team? That's Albuquerque, yeah. I don't know who they Oh, are. Albuquerque, yeah. Albuquerque AAA team is somebody else. Isn't there a 51s? Isn't there a team called the 51s? Vegas, Vegas. Yeah. Vegas, Vegas. Although they changed their name, I think. It used to be the Dodgers AAA team. Yeah, and it used to be the Mets, right? Now it's the Mets, I think. I, think, I thought they changed it because they had the new stadium. But maybe I'm wrong. And it never made sense that the Vegas was the Mets. Because when you get called up, you have to fly across the whole country. Right. I know. Area 51 party. A couple months. Is that still happening? Oh, yeah. We'll be breaking live. From there? Yeah. Are you going to go? Sure. Okay. So then the minis, what I've been doing is just putting them to the side and then going through them at the end. Because some of them are hand numbered on the back. Right. Yeah, that's what we did last year too. Right? Yeah. Obviously the wood mini was kind of obvious. Especially Yeah. Yeah, I like that name a lot. The Area 51s. There's David Price for the Boston Red Sox. That goes out to Walter. Any cards... 350 or above are short printed. So those all ship. So we got that, right? But it'll be hard to catch them. But we'll be shipping them out in case anybody asks. Shipping what out, sorry? Um, cards 350 or above. Like oh, on the, the back. Prints. Yeah, those are the short prints. Or yeah, Mets A is now in Syracuse. Yeah, that's what I thought. It's, yeah, they switched like last year or something, two years ago. Yeah, that makes yeah. a lot more sense. Yes. There's a relic, David Ortiz. Boston Red Sox, another hit for Walter. There's a Bernice Mountain Dog. Ian Happ. Roy Holiday. Ryan Yarborough. Who's this? Elliot. Graham Elliot. Chef and TV personality. I think I've heard of him. When I have insomnia at 3 a.m. or something, watching Food Network or something like that. Tebow comes to town when they play my Iron Pigs. Ooh, nice. I think I played... Um, like my, my character in MLB, the show, got drafted by the Iron Pigs or something like that. 
and I could never get advanced. They never called me up. <laughs> Just quit it. Negro. But yeah, that's crazy. He's still he's still doing it in the minors. I think we might have a numbered card in here. I think I might have seen one. Maybe not. No, I was lying, sorry. Horseshoe Falls. Wow, beautiful. Would you be on a boat in the middle of that thing? That looks kind of dangerous, doesn't it? Crazy. Then get up close to water that rushes 167 feet down. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I'd do that. I guess depends on the circumstance. All right, final box. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Thanks for watching. Sorry, it's not the craziest break ever, but I appreciate everyone getting in. And Joe will be breaking the next case, and then I'll be posting some Optic Team Random so we can get that couple cases of Optic hit tonight. So we'll probably do two or three Ginter. I mean... We've already done one Ginter, so we'll probably do, if I had to guess, probably Ginter 3 also, maybe even 4, and then definitely a couple Optic, and then everything else, if you guys want to see something else tonight, like Fanatics or all that great stuff, you're going to have to just kind of push it on your own, because a lot of people will be getting into Ginter, a lot of people will be getting into Optic, a lot of people are getting into Elements on Friday. So if you want something else, I would suggest getting your spots now so people see it. it's getting a move on. So, so that's my off. suggestion. Matt H., how's it going? Thanks for getting in. Welcome. Are you in this break number one? Or what you got? So almost done with this break number one. I mean, just make sure... And I'll do a hit recap, quick hit recap video also. Nice, you had the J's, nice. Well, I didn't see, we haven't had any ink, but you did have a nice, we did have a hot box, so you had a gold parallel of, uh, of Vlad Jr. You had the mini, I think, right? Mini Vlad Jr., so. I don't know, but I'll do a hit recap video of all the relics and autographs. So, I'll do that at the end. What's up, Roy? Aloha. Maybe even some ink in this last box. We've only had, what, four autos? So, I might have a, one more in this last one. So all the minis we go through at the end, like I've been saying. That that Devil Rays color I like a lot. I like those jerseys. But now they're just the Rays, so they can't do it anymore. They kind of just ho-hum that whole thing. Ooh, we have a Emily Jansen Auto. 
Oh. The GM of what? The, the, Reno the, Ve- Aces. the Reno Aces. She's got a nice autograph. Farm club of the uh, Arizona Diamondbacks, right? Yeah. Nice. That's what it was, right. So that goes out to the non-baseball, of course, the non-sport, non-baseball spot, any card not associated with one of the 30 teams we sold. So that goes to Michael. Okay. What are you getting? It's got something from the, the Chicken Shack. Ooh, that's like right across the street. Elvis yes. Andrews. They, 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 better, they better know where it Steven is. Steven with the Rangers. I said in between the American Tire. <laughs> American. And, uh, what, the address isn't good enough for them? They, I mean, <laughs> just got to add extra instructions. Yeah, I know. They never read those. Let's be honest. But I can always be like, hey, I wrote it in this. Hey. These minis are just sliding and slipping and sliding. And then they got these cool playing cards. There's the dizzy bat. Have you ever done that? A what? A dizzy bat. Where you you put a bat down on the ground and then you have to spin around. Oh it. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't think I don't know if I've ever done that, to be honest. I would just throw up on spot. There's Dustin Pedroia. Boston Red Sox. Oh, what's up, Jeremy? Yeah, be sure to send us an email on that. Um, Jaspyscasebirds at gmail.com. Not sure what happened there, but it should be able to help you out on that. Um, Pretty good so far. All right, last stack here. Oh, did you see that Rory posted the redemption that he got? The thing he pulled from like last November or something? I didn't like see that. that. That? Oh, he got it? Yeah. Dang, that's nice. That is beautiful. I, th- I, th- Facebook I thought he sold the redemption. No, no, no. I, I think forgot. he said he wanted to wait for it and get oh, it and yeah, then yeah. That's figure out what to do with smarter. it. Smarter. Glad too. he got it so quick. All right, so there ten is months. the minis. Yeah, but I thought it would have been be longer. Fun. Yeah. That wasn't 10 months either. I think I it, it, it was less November than that. Or I think he's being a little dramatic. No, it's last we haven't fall, even yeah. had the new site 10 months. We opened in October. It's like six months, I think. Six, eight months. Yeah. I think he hit in January, actually. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> 10 months, come on. I always do that, too, though. It's like, I've been waiting on this redemption like for, like for a year. Two, yeah. Where's this redemption? And then Tops is like, sir, it's been four months. And <laughs> yeah. you're like, oh, right, okay. Feels like a year. Okay, last card of the break. Oh, oh no. Oh, no. Almost got a double sound. It is Javi Baez. Javier Baez for the Cubs. Who the Cubs have one of the biggest scandals in MLB going right now. What? You know, have you ever seen the cup snakes? So, in the bleachers, the fans want to do cup snakes. so oh, they yeah, put yeah, each they a- stack cups. Yeah, yeah, so... Yeah. And What's the Cubs have like have been treating like this, like it's like the worst thing to ever happen. They're banning people, they're firing people, they're kicking people out. They don't want them to do cups. Even, they they ran on this one person who had a three cup going, and he like they like they beat the guy up league. basically. So it's crazy. So there you go. That was Ginter baseball. Pick your team. That's awful. Number one. Stay tuned for the recap. No fun league.